everybody. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new way to use Ionic's controllers in Ionic 5. And uh, now this specifically applies to just uh, JavaScript or Stencil.js. Uh, if you're using Angular, uh, it'll be the same as it was before. Uh, same with React as well, I think. Uh, but basically, I'm talking about the way you use the controllers like the uh, alert controller, uh, modal controller, toast controller. Uh, the controllers that kind of create dialogues on the screen. Uh, the way in which you use those in Ionic 5, if you're using Stencil.js or just plain JavaScript, uh, that has changed. And it is a change that makes things a lot nicer in my opinion. Uh, I will quickly recap how it worked before, uh, if you're familiar with that. Uh, if you're not, then you don't really need to worry about it. But uh, what we would do before to access the controllers since everything is sort of used through the web components that Ionic uh, provides, uh, we would actually say in the app root file, it doesn't have to be in here, but it's just a good place to put it. We would put something like the ion modal controller. So we'd actually have to sort of physically create that web component in our application. And then from another file, we would use a query selector to grab a reference to the modal controller and then we could use the methods that it provides like the create method for creating modals. So we don't need that anymore. Uh, so we can just delete that completely. And what Ionic does now is it allows you just to import it as a module. So the controllers can be imported as a module. So what that means is that we can just say import and then whatever controller we want to use. So we'll say alert controller, for example, and we'll import that from Ionic core. And we could also import, uh, say, modal controller, uh, toast controller, and so on if we wanted to. Uh, but we'll just use alert controller as an example. And so what I'm going to do basically in this little demo application I have here, let's have a show alert button. I just want to click that and have that launch a uh, an alert. So I've got a button uh, that calls this dot show alert, and inside of here we're just going to use the new method for using the controllers. So we're going to make that an async function since we're going to wait for this uh, alert to be created. But the general syntax is exactly the same as before. It's just that rather than having to get a reference to the alert controller from that uh, actual web component element in our application, now we just use the imported uh, controller. So that would look something like this. We could say const alert equals await alert controller dot create. And then we supply our, uh, our configuration options to that. Uh, if you're not familiar with those, you can see them in the uh, documentation for uh, the ion alert component. Uh, but we just have stuff like uh, header, message, buttons, and so on. So let's just, let me just copy and paste this to make things easy. And then once we have our alert created, uh, we can just call uh, alert dot present and that will uh, display the alert for us. So let's just quickly check that that all uh, works. Jump into here, click show alert and you can see that our alert has popped up on the screen. So it's going to be the same no matter what uh, controller you are using. If it is a toast controller, it's going to be the same format. We just await the controller, use its create method or whatever method we need to use and then just use it the same as we were before. We just don't need to do anything like before we'd have to do something like say uh, const modal controller equals document dot query selector so on uh, to grab that reference. We don't need that anymore. We just need to import it from Ionic core. And I'll just reiterate one more time. This is just for stencil JS or for plain JavaScript. Uh, if you're using Angular, for example, you would just import the alert controller from the Angular uh, the Ionic Angular library instead. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So we're going to look at the new way to use Ionic's controllers uh, in Ionic 5. Mm -hmm.